today we are building an AI swarm for sniping meme coins. So everybody sees what's going on with meme coins right now and we just follow the volume around here. So the volume is over on BirdEye right now. So what we did is we built a meme coin token sniper because you can see things like this went up 592% last night. This went up 128%, 57%, 89%. This is not gonna be here for a long time. This is a short time. This is a casino. Beware, buyer beware. Don't do this stuff at home. But we built this sniper to go ahead and scan all of these new launches so we can get here before they even start trending now that is the hypothesis you can see we can filter by things like oh well, we want to sell when we hit a 5x and we want to sell 70% of the tokens should we should we drop it should we not have it if it has no website or no Twitter or no telegram so we're searching through all these tokens just like a DJ would so don't do this at home but we're doing it with code which is amazing so you can see we can say things like hey if the market cap is bigger than 30,000 we don't want it hey we want to scan through 15,000 tokens hey we need the minimum volume of a thousand to make sure that there's actually volume there hey we want to make sure the minimum sellers there's or the maximum amount of sellers is 70 percent things like this plus a ton of other filters that we've built into this bot over time you can see it's scanning the chain right now but what i kind of want to do is if you go back to uh maybe a couple months back when open ai assistance i can't believe this i can't believe that we are on the cutting edge like this bro every single new thing that comes out we're able to use for algo trading if you don't know me by now my name is moondev my I believe code is a great equalizer. That's why I share all of this information here for you. You can see, oh man, BTC is at 65K today. I didn't even notice. I just got done with the gym and I'm here to show you absolutely everything because I do believe code is a great equalizer. And this is the process I do every single day. So this is how I figured out the Solana Sniper. This is how I figure out anything. I just follow a simple process. It's how to automate your trading the RBI system, research trading strategies, back test to see if they actually worked in the past and then implement with small size if they do work. Now, most of the time you're doing things like, you know, uh, with technical analysis or price action in order to build bots. But here we have come across this Solana sniper because we see all of this volume over here on BirdEye. So we just follow the volume, right? So uh, we built something for BirdEye to scan it and now we're here and now we want to take this to the next level so what is the next level i've been running this for a few days now and you or maybe even a, a week or so and you can see here the positions it's taken i personally think this can still use some work we can keep upgrading it so this took like 40 some positions or something i have a max positions on here of 40 so that's the most they can get into um, i might go ahead and clean some of these positions up or i might let them run i don't know doesn't matter. This is just a test over on the left side, testing the Solana Sniper. What I want to do here today is use what we built back in the day when OpenAI was released or OpenAI assistants were released. And I want to use that in the last step of this to do kind of a vibe check. So we're going to have this outputted file and you can see i'll just walk you through it just because i i know you may have not been watching every single minute of every single video for the last month so this goes ahead and scans the chain fifteen thousand tokens and then it makes this csv with like it's filtered picks and you can see there's 248 but then it goes through some more filtering with open high low close volume and all that good stuff and you can see it gets it down to 18 for the final but then it i think it might even do one more it does ready to buy so what i want to do here in this is do one more i know it's like mass filtering but why wouldn't i filter as much as possible because you know that's the only way this is going to work in my opinion you have to filter out all the trash there's a lot of trash up there so in today's video we are going to use open ai assistance and let's go ahead and just pull up my old video here because the uh, moon dev open ai assistance the answers are here so i'm going to be using something from here in this video so maybe i'll even pull up the video let's go ahead and make sure it's alive it's there i'm going to be using that video the code from there we built this i guess three months ago wow time is flying dude so what i want to do here is um 
yeah, I want to start building this out and let's think about where we're going to build this out at. So I think we would do it in the, the main and we would do it. So where are we buying it right here? So I want to go ahead and do the vibe check here. This is what I'm going to call it. The AI vibe check. I have no idea how this is going to do. I'm just curious and this isn't, you know, I, I just curious, you know, I'm a tester. I test everything. I test absolutely everything. Um, and if I have time to test it, I'm going to test it, but the, let me explain it to you. So I showed you, it filters out, it goes through and filters out all based on a lot of parameters. I showed you some of the parameters, but at the end of the day, it gets like, you know, everybody's searching by hand for like the best tokens and we're doing it by bots. So, um, that's awesome. We're already winning, but um, you know, we're winning. So I want to win harder. So that's just is what it is. So we're ready to check. And now I want to send these ready to checks through a vibe check a vibe check and a vibe check what is a vibe check i don't know a vibe check to me is like you know is it culturally uh popular right now like, for example the best example i have for this is like i was looking through one of our lists and i saw rick roll and to me it made me laugh and this was a few months ago so i don't even know if it's live anymore but um yeah this might not even be it ricky anyways it was a funny meme and what is a vibe check i feel like it's a funny meme or like culturally relevant and i don't know if ai is going to do that but we'll see so essentially the plan here is to maybe i'll just make the vibe check in the nice funks let's do that let's do vibe check in the nice funks here and let's say def def vibe check let's do ai vibe check ai vibe check because we are using ai here and I'll explain it here. Let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit for your poor eyes because I know my eyes is tripping. My eyes is tripping, B. Go ahead and tap that like button though. We have to run this up today. If we run this up today, I have so much to show you and you do not want to miss a minute of it, but you know me, I'm pretty lazy and I like to code from the couch and I can't code and talk from the couch. So if we get up to 10 likes real quick, I will stick around for the full hour and show you absolutely everything. So essentially, what are we gonna build here? Well, let me go ahead and explain it. This is going to take in each token address and then do a vibe check on it to see if it's um, culturally relevant. And it will also look into the um, what do, we, what do we want to say here? We'll look into the image of the token to see if it's a dead rug pull or not. I don't know about that. I don't know if I'm gonna do that part later. I'm gonna say later because for now, what I wanted to do is just, I wanted to use the LLM and the assistants, how would we run those? Well, I'm gonna make an assistant. So I'm gonna say this, I'll write it up. Make an assistant that, so this is the open AI assistant, just to be super clear, open AI assistant that knows how to do a vibe check. Okay. On the token. And then that's it. So then make the function that takes in the token address and does the vibe check. So we'll call this, uh, what did I call it? And all the other ones mint token address, I believe. So we'll do that. Um, what time is it? Eight. Okay, perfect. Let me know if you have any questions in the chat, smash the like button, we get up to 10 likes. I will show you absolutely everything with this AI vibe check here that we're building today. As I usually do. Um, what I want to do here is get some helpers here. Um, cause I have all of this code, right? So why would I rewrite it? Let's see if I can find it. Open in visual studio, please. Thank you. Found it. All right, so we have this OpenAI assistant code here, and this essentially, if I run this, this is pretty dope. So essentially, you see it's important in OpenAI, and this will go ahead and research trading strategies for me. So it will take in any video that I have. You can see it's using an assistant and it's creating a back test based off of all of these videos. So I put in YouTube videos here and it creates an assistant and from that assistant it then essentially watches the video 
So like, for example, if I open up this video here, it's probably about a trading strategy. Yeah, momentum trading. It's gonna watch the video and then it's gonna figure out what the strategy was in the video. And you can see it writes out the full strategy and then it sends that strategy over to its homie, which is another OpenAI assistant. This is our original OpenAI swarm that we built. And now we're gonna use it to build the vibe check of the Solana bot that we just built. See how all these pieces come together? So if you come every single day to the lives, you have all of the code. So smash that like button, bro. That's all I ask from you. That's a good trade. That's the best trade you make. If you're a trader, trade a little bit of your time. Come here, get all of the code. This is three months ago, 90 days ago, bro. This stuff is hot off the press. So the second AI is now reading in all of this stuff, which is the written strategy from one of these YouTube videos. And it's going to go to the next one. So it's reading in all of this stuff and coding the back test. So it takes a little bit of time, 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 time. But, you know, it would take me hours. Boom, there's the back test. Ignite elephant bar strategy. You can see it setting up the SMAs here. It's checking if ignite elephant bar is ready. It's not perfect, but it's way better than that I would do in two seconds like that. So you can see that's what we're doing here. So you can see this is already scanned through all of the new tokens. It did all of its uh, filtering here on the left side of, you know, different things like, hey, how, what's the sell percentage? What's the buy percentage? How many holders? How many views, etc. And then, you know, open, high, low, close stuff and all this stuff to help filter out the noise. And then it's checking their websites, checking their top 10% of holders and so on. It's doing all this stuff that we built over the last month. All right, cool. And then it comes out with the new tokens, but I want it to be more filtered. So I'm going to have AI do the vibe check. Now you can see, I just want to make sure this makes all sense to you. You can see this bot is different. It's a different bot. This one watches YouTube videos, reads the entire thing, understands it, writes out the description of the actual strategy that was written in the video. And then it takes that strategy. It's one open AI assistance. Imagine an AI. He, he, he does the reading and the writing of the strategy. That's one AI. He holds it and then he sends it on over to his friend who is a back tester who knows how to code another AI. He, so AI one, the strategy AI sends it over to AI two who codes the back test for me. And now I can just go tweak this back test and run it. Then it moves on to the second video. So here's another video up here. You can see this one is five momentum strategies and it pulls out the strategies or strategy and then it sends it over to its homie. You can see another back test is done. So every single minute, every single minute, it's coming out with a new back test essentially, which is insane to me, dude. So we have all of the pieces to, to do this now because now we're going to use the functionality of this bot and going to pair it with this and do the AI vibe check at the end to make sure it's Gucci. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. You know that I'm going to try it. All right. I need to think this through though. I think what I want to do here is actually make a new file because then I don't mess up what we have going, you know? So let's go ahead and copy all of this and say, uh, this is a main, with AI dot pi main with I main with AI dot pi main with AI dot pi. Okay. All right. Um, let's say this, this, this is the same as main, but with the AI vibe check in it, let's see what we can do. B go ahead and smash that like button. Cause literally nobody else in the world is going to show you this information. This is cutting edge stuff. This is quant. This is algo trading. Nobody shares any of that stuff. All right. But now we have AI, which those guys that didn't share in the past, they didn't even have access to this type of stuff. Now I'm sharing this stuff and guess what's going to happen next week. There's going to be new stuff coming out and I'm going to figure out how to use it for algo trading. And then I'm going to share it with you because dude, I need it. And if I need it, I don't code without you. I believe code's a great equalizer. So why would I not share this information? Why would I not? One more thing I need to do here is I want to make a 
a f blacklist. I know we have a closed list, like a don't open position list, but I kind of want to make a blacklist of never open. But I might do that never. I might never do that. Okay, so I don't want to get off topic here. This is the one. We're going to use this code here as much as possible in order to build what we want right now. So close all these tabs so my computer doesn't break. If you have any questions, smash the like button and I'll answer them. Um, main with AI. So now we're going to go down and do the vibe check down here because uh, so how would we do this? This is the buy in DF. DF equals buy in DF. And you can see here for D DF. Oh, sorry. This is D DF equals the buy in DF. So DF is really ready to buy. So DF is this. It's ready to buy. It's these six. Okay. But I wanted to get down. Lord have mercy on my soul because I will not stop until we get to where this man is at. And if you come every single day and tap the like button, you're going to see everything, dude. Nobody else shares this information except me. So I'm going to keep sharing it. Let's go ahead here and I'm actually going to kill this because we're going to use something new now. So how do we do the vibe check? So let's say one, uh, call the vibe check, call the call, the check and I'll put a new DF. Okay. So I'm going to say DF equals N dot AI vibe check. And then I'll pass in what do we want to do this do. I think I passed in the whole DF. Yeah, I'll just pass in the whole DF then. That's it. Passing the whole dang DF, dude. Okay, so we want to make sure that we get the whole DF back. So let's go ahead and say turn DF. This DF is only going to have tokens that pass the vibe check. I beat you again, Kobe. Where you at? Why you sleeping on me, dog? Sleeping on me. Sleeping on me, dog. Why are you sleeping on me? I'm up before you. I already got my workout in, did you? All right, let's go ahead here and that's going to return the DF so we know that. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that, that we have that. And we'll go to main with AI again. So this is going to then reset the DF one more time, time, time. And then this DF is now going to open positions only for these. So implementing an AI vibe check. Here. I have no clue if this is going to work, but it's the only way you find out, right? <laughs> that reminded me of something. That reminded me of something. Oh, wow. We got some people up in here. Go ahead and tap that like button because I'm showing you something nobody else is going to show ever. I promise you nobody's going to show you this on the YouTube. Not on the YouTube. Not on the YouTube. Not on the YouTube for the free. Let's go ahead and smash that like button while I go ahead and go ghost real quick because I got to set up my open AI keys. My open AI keys are very private to me. I cannot share them to you, dude. I'm sorry. It's just a thing that I have to hide from you. I hate hiding stuff from you, though. I, I don't like not having being able to show you everything, but this is the one thing I can't show you. And please don't show this to anybody else either. Don't show this to any of your friends. None of your friends need to see this. None of them, please, please, please open AI key and then open AI key so I don't mess it up. Okay, um, that looks Gucci now. Close it so I don't go. Okay, what did I call it though? I need to remember what I called it. Open AI key. Okay, so now I got the name of it. I'm just dark for a second because I can't share this with you, dude. I can't show you my AI, open AI key. Oh, so you're going to run it up because I know you want those AI tokies, dude. We all want those AI tokies. We all want the tokies, dude. So I believe I'm Gucci. I come back. I can make a comeback now. What up? You see that? How it's a black screen. I'm so paranoid about sharing my key that not only, not only do I turn off my screen on my video recorder, but I also... I also move it out of the recording zone because I have let my keys go one too many times, one too many times. Okay. So how do we do this? Well, let's just look, let's look through this. So we're going to save the open AI assistance. We need to check the open AI assistance, create and run an open AI assistant. 
dude i think we might need all this so i might go ahead and all right i got this i'll do it like this then dude we're gonna say client here and we're gonna put that in right there d dot key that should be gucci we're gonna import developing strategy then back testing generate file name what do we need the file name for i don't know I'm not sure but we're gonna put in all of this information slow me down i don't care you tap the like button, I will be here forever. I will keep coming back every single day, 7 a.m., dude. Actually, check that. 7 a.m. Eastern, dude. It's actually, check that, it's 8 a.m. AST. It's 8 a.m. AST every day. Now, you're gonna miss something next week when this changes, I promise you, you're gonna miss it. Because for some reason, AST is different. Well, okay, that's fine, that's different than EST. Anyways, long story short, we're doing this every day at 8 a.m. AST. AST. Google that because the time changes next week. And AST right now is one hour ahead of EST, and it will not be later. It will not be later. So you're going to have to do that. You're going to have to figure that out, dude, because I'm not going to do it for you. I'm sorry. You're going to have to figure out what AST is, where AST is, and what time AST is, because every single day for the rest of my life, I will be here at 8 a.m. AST. I don't know if that's going to be one month, one year, 10 years, 100 years or what. Maybe I'll be here forever because there's so much. There's so many videos of me. I can just recreate myself. What if I'm an AI right now? Oh, wait, not to mention AI. So we need all that information. But why? Well, we need to save. Let's go ahead and jump to the bottom here and see how this works. Classify process idea. By the way, uh, I walk through all this code inside the boot camp. I walk through everything in the boot camp because I know I'm just like flying through the crazy code here and there um, throughout this entire time. I'm showing you over the shoulder. This is over the shoulder. This is like a stream of me coding, right? So I'm coding hard stuff right now. And you might be asking yourself, where do I get actually started? I'm not trying to pitch this. I don't care if you join the boot camp. It does not matter to me. It's just to avoid all those questions about how to get started and all the basic stuff in order to get caught up with me. I put everything inside of a boot camp for that reason, simply because I don't have the time to show basic stuff over and over again on YouTube. I do want to put out as many videos as possible showing advanced stuff on YouTube because that helps me advance the whole crew. The way I look at this is I'm coding, 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 doing the hardest things so that I can get them done. And then I just throw them in the discord where everybody else is at. So the boot camp is where you get all my code. You get short, concise videos, step by step, short, you know, five to 15 minute videos that walk you through step by step, bro. How to automate your trading. You get seven full algos. It's actually probably even more now. You get full support. So if you ever have questions, I have a team in there to answer every single question for me and you anything i need as an algo trader i give to you inside of the boot camp i believe code's a great equalizer that's why i put all of this together the boot camp was just out of necessity because if i'm going to show you all this advanced stuff there's going to be people jumping in that are like oh my god this is so dope but i just need to get started first i need to get caught up to you how do i get caught up to you either a i make the same video every single day and i become a youtuber or b i keep chasing this guy right here and I work on the hardest stuff and in my opinion working on the hardest stuff is is the best best spent time for me at least so um, at the end of the day I'm just doing this to show you exactly what I'm working on so you can see that I'm just a regular dude I'm not smart I did not go to school for some fancy engineering degree I did not learn how to code I waited till I was 30 to learn how to code so it's like there's no excuses if I can do it you can do it too I just needed that person I needed to meet that person that did it that was a regular person had red blood just like mine in order to do it so I hope this inspires you and then if you need to get up to speed with me you don't want to just watch all the videos you want to get up to speed with me you can jump in the boot camp the boot camp gives you all of my code you get access to everything bro so you can see what you get access to on this page. You can even get the Solana Sniper course, which literally nobody would ever give you. No, 
nobody would ever give you. That's crazy. All of this is crazy that I give out, but it's all in the boot camp. It's also on YouTube. So it's like, if you want to get up to speed really quick, jump in the boot camp. If you have questions of like, hey, how do I get started? Get in the boot camp. All of these people did that. You can read about them. There's a link for that below. But I don't need to talk about this anymore, bro, because I don't give a F if you join or not. It's just where everything is. All right. End rant. Let's go ahead and figure out how this works. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? This thing screwed, dude. Let's do it this way. Say copy. Why would I figure this out? Above, above is code that uses open AI assistance. Use it as a reference to do the following and then output all of the code. I get people flaming me like this guy doesn't even know how to code, bro. It's okay. It's okay that I use AI. If you're a coder and you're not using the AI, that is so funny to me. I'm coming at your neck. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I'm only three and a half years into coding and I'm self-admitted not the best coder in the world. I understand how to code, but I understand that literally AI can type faster than me. So why would I ever not use AI to code? I get flamed all the time for it, but it's okay. That's from the, the guys that think AI can't help them. That's okay. Get left behind, bro. I would hate to be in the position of being a developer for 15 years and then some stupid little kid like me come through that didn't even go to school for this. And now he uses AI to eat your lunch while you're sitting at your nine to five typing. Oh my God, why would you follow this guy? He uses AI for coding. Five years later, this guy is on this page because he used AI and types faster than the other guy. Sorry. I need to stop looking at comments sometimes, but you know, I get a lot of people flaming me for uh, using so much AI coding, but literally, ju literally just the, the, the time saved typing is worth using AI, in my opinion. And that's the great thing about life, B, is you can do whatever you wanna do. Your opinion stinks. My opinion stinks, but that's why I love finance so much because you get to back your opinions. People flamed me buying crypto back in the day a decade ago people flamed me i got the same opinions I, I, <laughs> I'm man funny funny all right above is the code that uses the open ai assistance use it as a reference to do the following and then i'll put all the code one we have a df that looks like the below and it has a bunch of mint addresses in it those are Solana token addresses. What are we gonna do here is the question. I wanted to pass in the name of the token. So I think that's the play because that's the only vibe you can really go off of. Let's see if we even have the name of the token in there though. While I'm building out this prompt, let's go ahead and see if we have the name because I don't think we do. That's the funny thing. And the reason we don't have the name is because we don't really need it. Or we haven't needed it. Wow, Biden with hat is still popping, huh? That can't be the same one. Page not found. Ha ha. It's not the same one. Go ahead and smash the like button, bro. P please do smash the like button because this will change my life. If you go ahead and smash the like button, then I keep coming back. You literally control my life. You control my life with that like button. It's so cringe, but you do. Because if you tap the like that, that says Moon Dev, people actually enjoy this. People want to see you code. But if you don't, then it's like, okay, well, nobody likes it. So I'm just going to code and I'll see you in the mempool. <laughs> you know? Okay, so I need to get the, the name of each of these. So before we, well, let's write out our prompt so we can understand exactly what we need in this DF. So this is the final DF. It does not have the name on it because we don't need the name or uh, to this part, to this point, our sniper doesn't need the name. It doesn't care about the name, but now the vibe check is low key based off the name mid key, bro. Now that I think about it. So it's mid key based off the name. So let's get the name mint addresses. Um, so we're not even going to, it has a bunch of Solana tokens on it. For the column name, please have it sent to an open AI assistant 
who will do a vibe check which is explained below let's say two the vibe check assistant will will run the the uh with this prompt so based based on what you know about what is culturally culturally relevant or funny or you think has a chance to be a viral meme on a scale of one to ten what do you give this token name let's say name here essentially give it a score of one to ten ten being the best meme ever for the current period of time for the current period of time in the world and one being the worst meme ever apply okay that's fine reply with the name and the score okay i don't know I just, bro i don't know if this is gonna work we'll see i have no idea but first things first we have to get the df right because we only have a name column in there you dweeb I, i'm a dweeb i don't even have the name column in there how do i go this far without the name column because it doesn't matter computers don't care about the names until they're doing a vibe check like we're doing right now dude go ahead and tap that like button if we get up to 20 likes i'm gonna show you absolutely everything here today i will go for the full hour if we get up to 20 likes but i don't think you can get us there because you're sitting on your finger get off that finger Monday. Smash the Lizzie and let's keep it going. So I'm going to go ahead and take this ready to buy folder here. Sorry, not folder, but you know what I'm talking about. We're going to go over to main with AI. And before we do the vibe check, we got to do step zero, get the, or uh, update that update the DF to have the name in the first column. Let's see if I can do it. I highly doubt it. Come on, bro. DF. I already got DFB. But go ahead. Get names. And I get names. That's what you're going to do for me, dude? Okay. F it. Let's go ahead and get the names then. Let's go ahead and do it. Beautiful. They want us to do it. DF equals get names. So we're going to go down to uh, this thing. We're going to say, did I do that right? Yes. Okay, so we're getting the names now. But how do you get the names, dude? Well, I think you just get it from the token info. Let's go ahead and check out BirdEye. Bird API documentation. All right, endpoints, I believe. Not sure. Premium. Request, price, token pair, token security, token creation info, public APIs, token existed, token list, token overview. How about that? So let's go ahead and do this thug fizzle. Um, I think I'm just going to put this in the other one. Um, cause I want to dude. No, because I think I already have like all the connections to open AI up here. This gets the names and puts them on the DF. So names equals sure. Whatever for DI. Okay. Yo, don't play me dog. Why you keep doing that? Why you keep doing that? Come on, you got all you got all the stuff you need in order to do this. I know you can do it. All right, let's just do it for it because this thing is slow. She asleep today, dude. Let's go ahead and get all of this information here. I'm not even gonna type it. I can do. I can type it. Sure, sure, sure. No, I have to type it because I I'm already using my prompty prompt. Let's see what Luxie's up to because then she could just do it for us. How about that? How about that? Use the above. Um, way to connect to the api key to do the below function to finish the below function where we are trying to get the name bro here here is the code in order to get the token info please have it print whatever is needed 
so we can parse through the JSON and get the right name. At the end of this, I want you to output out put the the uh, df as ready to buy a csv uh, let's put it in that folder copy relative path so where's the code that i was talking about it's right here copy it i'm such a lazy mofo i could this time i could have written this better faster maybe maybe baby maybe get names, get bow, bird eye, shame her, any of that. Why would you get the balance? She tripping dog. She tripping head. Why well, didn't tap that Lizzie? Cause then the time is the time and the time is the time. Let's try it again. Let's give it another try. Let's give her another try. Get bird eye bow. Headers. Okay, so we have some more prints here. They're not printing the stuff that I wanted you to print dude. That's okay. This looks better already. Get bird eye bow. Token, print token info. That's good enough. It's good enough. So let's go ahead and copy all this code here. And now we can pass in the DF here. Here, let's do this though. Let's do it here. Let's do it up here so we can just test a little faster. So I'm not gonna run the real bot. Not right now. Go ahead and tap that like button because the likes tell me to keep coming back. And you're sitting here and you haven't tapped the like button yet, and I don't know why. Throw a six in the chat if you've already hit the like button. Throw a six in the chat if you hit the like button. If you haven't hit the like button yet, I don't know what to do to get that like out of you, dude. I'm trying to show you things that nobody else are gonna show you in the world. We're building this open AI swarm here to swarm these mofos. These mofos are gambling their life savings on meme coins, and we're using AI to snipe them. Sniper, no sniping. Sniper, no sniping. Let me know where that's from. Let me know in the chat. Do you know where that's from? Sniper, no sniping. Let me know in the chat if you know where that's from. I'm gonna be in there too, so I'm gonna be checking. Open AI is not defined. <laughs> Idiot. Idiot. Uh, put that on nice funks. What's going on with this one? Get names. Dang, I already got it over there though. Where are we calling it AI at? Open AI at line 584, line 34. Open AI is not defined. It's because I don't have Open AI on this. I use Open AI on the other. No, I'm going slow now. Open AI is not defined. Let's go ahead and see how we set it up here. Client equals. I probably just didn't import that. I thought I did though. Import Open AI. Maybe I didn't save it. I cannot import Open AI. Don't do that to me, dude. Don't tell me this is going to be a uh, 3.10 thing. Um, okay, so here it works, but here it doesn't. And I'm scared because I think I got to change interpreters to T-Flow. Okay. I don't even know that's called interpreter, but correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. All right. This is a bummer, but it's fine. Essentially, I've been working on 3.85 uh, Python, and you can see that in the bottom right, boom. But it says 3.10 now. But now we're on 3. Point, we have to go to 3.106 or whatever, I don't know. Uh, that's the one we're on, that's... And essentially, uh, the reason I had to do that is because I think OpenAI has problems with 3.8.5. It's just too old, maybe. I'm a boomer for that. Let's go ahead here and say, Hip install pandas because maybe I can just switch it all. I just I feel like I'm gonna do a lot of pip install in here. Dang, I gotta switch this. This is a big old project. This wasn't like a we didn't just like whip this up just now. <laughs> but okay, let's try to run it back. Pandas TA is hard to install. That was easy, dude. That was super duper easy. So I'm not tripping now. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. I want to get this done. I got I gotta get this done. Dang, I should have read the error. Freaking idiot. Let's, uh, let's just read, read that error again. I got excited because it wasn't as hard as needed to me. Or as it been. So, names.append has no name object. Okay. So, print token info. Getting balance. Should we print the json.response dog? Print 
Yeah, I want both of them. Because I honestly don't know which one has it. Here it is! Here it is! Here it is! So wallet is that. I don't see the name in here actually. Symbol, name. This isn't so long. It's the wallet. What are we even looking at right now? So the wallet is that. Let's go ahead and see ready to buy. So it's this Toki. It looks like that gets the, the wrong information. So we gotta try something else. We gotta try something else. And I'm sure somebody actually already told me here in the chat because um, you guys are the best. I appreciate you. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out that chat real quick. I'm not gonna be in there long. So if you have any questions, do holler at your boy. Go ahead and smash that like because we're not anywhere close to where we need to be. We gotta get to 30 likes and I will stick around for the full hour and a half. Be Trent, what up dog? Good to see you. Keith, good morning, good morning. Tat is up here, what's up? I built a bot on Solana, but I have a few problems about it. Can you help me? Of, of course, dude, I'm here to help. Let me know if you have any questions or anything. Go ahead and jump in the Discord. We got a ton of people building bots on Solana. What are problems you're having at Tat? Yeah, thank you, Jenny, I appreciate you. The bootcamp is only in English, yes. Hablo un poquito espanol, pero not enough. Not enough to do it in Spanish. Crypto crew, what language do you need it in? Let me know, let me know. Let me know in the chat what language uh, you are speaking. What languages do you want to see the bootcamp in? Throw them in there. Maybe I can go ahead and uh, get them translated or something. Mr. Duckets, what up, B? Fast car, sexy. How do you calculate profit? Well, profit is the difference between your current, current value and what you bought it. So that's how you calculate it. Um, do you offer live calls for your bootcamp? No. Um, but you can book a call if you want me to build a algo for you. I only build algos for two, two, maybe, maybe three people per month. So you can book a call after joining the bootcamp. The bootcamp is where I show you step by step how to automate your trading. You get all of my code, including my open AI swarm code. So you get all the AI code. You get, uh, you can get access to the Solana sniper course and all that good stuff but that's in the boot camp i don't care if you join it's just how to get caught up to speed with me because i'm on level 152 b josh jansen grand rising good morning i see a lot of sixes in the chat and i see a number 15. number 15 means that you've smashed the like button 15 times so if you haven't smashed the like button 15 times i don't know why you're here be like a live biz card Actually do it 16 times so it's an even number. Can you give the source code for the snipe bot? Yeah, dude, I give uh, probably 80% of that source code so you can then build out your own stuff because I'm not a guy that's gonna say, hey, run this, you're gonna make a ton of money. I wanna teach you how to fish for the rest of your life, dude. That's why in the bootcamp, I teach you how to build your own algos because it's one thing, like I'm not gonna be one of those guys that says, hey, take this bot and run it and make a million dollars overnight. No, bro, that's it's too good to be true, it is. The price of this is $69. People that come to me and say, yo, I just joined your boot camp. which bot do I run to make a million dollars? It's like, get ghost, bro. There's a 100% money back guarantee so we can get people like that out of there. I just want, I just want people that are gonna work hard because this is hard stuff. I'm just getting you up to speed with me. And if that's not worth $69, then don't join. I don't care. But you're not, it's not to get rich quick. So don't expect to get rich quick. You have to put in the work. You have to learn how to code. I show you how to code. You have to learn how to algo trade. I show you how to algo trade. You have to learn how to work with AI. I show you how to do all that. So it's a AI. get up to speed with Moondev ASAP. Oh man, it took me a while to get all this code working on 3.12. Hopefully 3.11 works better. Trent says, oh, just a library, not all Python versions use gpt4 right yep 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 rich perry what up bro good to see you here all right there's no answers in the chat but go ahead and um go ahead and smash that like button sounds like we got a bunch of sixes up in the chat so a bunch, once you hit the like button just hit six in the chat to confirm that you have liked the video if we get up to 30 likes i'm gonna show you absolutely everything for the next i'll stick around for a full hour and a half since we've already been here for an hour shoot if we run it up to 30 likes so that's on you. I'm gonna get back to coding because I gotta push us forward. So overview, I would think it would be in the overview to be honest. It doesn't show anything about the token name. I need the token name. Request history, price, historical, trades, trade pair, open high, low, close, token list, public APIs. Existed, ported, token list, price, multiple. Come on, bro. There's gotta be a 
simple way to get the name right how do you get the name trent you might know this bro how do you get the name i haven't used the name this entire time that's so funny that's so so funny to me all right i'm just gonna try some of these then Evan. Trent, holler at your boy if you know how to get the name because i'm gonna find it it's just time is money b here the only difference is i don't want multi-price let's try price and see if that will head uh give back the name price question mark so i did change that here to price question mark okay let's go ahead and see what this call does call it oopsies i'm in any way dress price d5 oh uh -oh. So I'm instead at work. Oh, I need to pay attention, dude. I gotta pay attention. Pay attention. Bird eye public API dot bird eye dot so slash D five question mark five slash price. Dress attention. Success. Address is required. Bird eye balance. Address. How do I get the name? Names in overview. Oh, thank you, bro. My guy. I thought I did overview, but maybe I, what did I do? I don't know what I did. Let's get that out of here. Let's put this new URL in. Here we go. Put her in. Put her in right here. Pass her in. Appreciate you, dog. Thank you, Trent. Thank you, dog. I really appreciate you, dude. This is the cool stuff that happens here. We build a community and we all are good at different things i'm bad at everything but i put it out there and then people can help which is amazing yo i was thinking about it though and i have this kobe going off all the time every hour and you know obviously love and respect to kobe of course and his family i would think about it though maybe i was just tripping but these mofos are gonna come after me for having it up so much but i i need the motivation vanessa don't come after me i'm not doing i'm not like i love kobe honestly i loved him before you did so don't get mad at me for playing his thing every day and if you need anything hit me up directly hit me up directly we can chizzy chat I promise it's no malintentions i'm so sad all right so this is the Dave Ryan. We get back address, decimal, symbol, name. So name is there. Thank you all. Trent, thank you so much for the help. Uh, Evila, thank you, bro. I appreciate you guys all so much. She says, I'm still figuring out grid bots and you would think the existing bots you can subscribe to are good enough. No, you wouldn't. Uh, well, they're trash. It's mind blowing. It's the bread and butter of bot companies. Don't do it, bro. If anybody's trying to sell you a bot, don't do it. It's not going to work. I promise you. It might work for a little bit in a bull market, but at the end of the day, you cannot sell bots. You cannot buy bots because if everybody's using the same strategy, it's math and it will converge to zero. There will be a $0 profit at the end of the day if everybody's using the same bot. That's why I preach this. That's why I show how to code your own strategy. That's why I like flame anybody that comes into the Discord and says, yo, what bot do I run to make a bunch of money? Get out of here because that's not the type of person I'm trying to attract. That's why I don't talk about money on this channel. That's why I simply just show you exactly what I'm coding because I don't want you to come into this world thinking you're gonna make a bunch of cash immediately. You have to work hard. This was hard work for me, dude. You see me here for the last two years, staying here making videos every single day, dude. You see I'm I'm coding hard things every single day. So this is not a get rich quick. And if you ever try to buy a bot from the internet, just know that you're the product. Just know that. That's why I show you how to build bots because then you can go out and fish yourself for forever like you you know how to fish now right you can build your strategies and if everybody's running a different strategy that's the only way it works if everybody were to run the same strategy there's no way this works it converges to zero every time it's math me it's math so just be wary I, i'm glad you're here i'm glad you said that comment hg i'm glad you're realizing that when you buy a bot they're trash because that's the truth it's just like it's impossible sure like there might be some day that somebody sells a bot and it's profitable for a year, but it's gonna go to zero eventually, eventually. I don't see why people would sell profitable bots either um, because then their strategy is gonna go to zero. 
the only way that I am able to teach this stuff is because I show you the, the building blocks so you can build your own bots. And I, I teach you how to come up with your own strategies. I give you examples of algos so you can see, okay, what would like the turtle trading bot look like? And then how can I implement my own stuff? Um, what would an order book bot look like? What would an engulfing algorithm look like? What would a breakout bot look like? And then you can put in your own information because that's the only way this works. It's the only way this works. Sure, you might be able to work with like a buddy or two and have the same strategies, but like once it gets to mass numbers, that ain't gonna work, B. That ain't gonna work. So we have this and this sends back the address. It sends back the decimals. It sends back the, the symbol. And this is what we really want is the name. Newsy Johnson. So let's go ahead here and just copy some of that. And... Um, this prints token info for mint address. We're going to put in the mint address, get the bird eye balance here. We should print token data. Okay. And then I'm going to take out this print because I want to make sure it's all passing through correctly. So we got the same data here. Perfect. So for this in name actually, so it did a little error here, but that's okay. She didn't know. So I'm just going to say, here's a sample of the output. Thank you. Here is a sample of what token data returns is use it to update the code as you can see there is a name key value key that will hold the name we want and remember we essentially want to fill up the whole df that was passed and to have the name on the first column. HG says agreed, thanks for the feedback. Thank you, bro, thank you for bringing up that point. I think you said it before I reiterated it, so thank you for uh, letting us know your perspective on things, and I hate, to see, I hate to see people falling for that, and it's just because it's good marketing sometimes. It's like, and it's like you're, you might need to make cash right away, so if you see an ad saying, hey, this bot can make X dollars per day, I get why you click on that, I get why you might buy it. Um, but I truly believe code's a great equalizer. So whatever position you're in, if you do take that next three months and learn how to code, you are gonna be further than you were. So like, yes, it's not a get rich quick at all, but like it's a skill that most people, most people are not gonna learn. So whenever you can get separation in life, business, whatever, do that, bro, do that. This has, uh, learning how to code was literally the best thing I could have ever done in my life. Literally, way better than buying crypto early. Crypto is cool and it goes up and yada yada, whatever. But it's like, that does matter, it makes money, but like, guess what happens? Like, that's gonna go to zero. I mean, it could go to zero. For example, you can get hacked at any moment, right? But what can't go to zero? Your, your knowledge. So that's why I set out on the journey a few years back to learn how to code because I see the fluctuations in crypto. Like I know the fluctuations in business. I understand the fluctuations in life. You know, you might have a job today and not tomorrow, but guess what? If you know how to code, you can work anywhere. You can build anything. It's just really that it's like on you. And that's why I love finance because there's no, there's nobody you have to report to, right? You don't have a boss. You don't have to like report to colleagues and all this stuff straight to the cash. If you lose, it's on you, which sucks. If you win, it's on you, which is great. That's awesome. Same thing with coding. You take your career into your hands because at the end of the day, if you know how to code and you're not making money, that's on you. That's your fault. That means that A, you're not applying to enough jobs or B, you're not taking a risk and starting your own thing. If you know how to code, build an app, build some website and you know, whatever, like an app or a website or build bots or there's just so many opportunity so many opportunities when you know how to code so i'm glad you're here it's good to see you i'm glad you're here and we are going to keep on moving every single second of every single day because we got big goals b what is going on here not printing anything for me i like printing print f token mint address let's make it uh negative four onward it's the only code i know is N-A, get the F out of here, dude. There's no N-A, what is you talking about? There's no N-A around here. Name is right there, dude. Token name, let's print token data here. 
going on up in this beat. Did this just flip me out? Yeah, that was my bad. That was my bad. Sorry. Use this code to get the JSON I previously sent. That was my bad. Essentially, we moved from to token list to token info, and this is not getting the name because I didn't update. I didn't update old Luxy girl. Luxy, she she needs to be updated every once in a while and be told what's going on, B. What's actually going on? Here we go. Let's see how that do get names, copy code, get token address. That's better, dude. Whoa, come on, blood. Let's have some intelligence. You're artificial intelligence and you have no intelligence sometimes. I'm over here getting mad at the AI every single day because she's tripping sometimes. She's really tripping. All right. She pulls out things. It's okay. We're just going to let her let her do her thug fizzle here. And now let's go ahead and say print. I want to print because if we didn't print last time, we wouldn't have not known where our problem was, to be honest. There it is. Newsy Johnson, probably nothing. Biden with hat, dumb money, $100 million in you. I gotta buy that shit. I gotta buy that right now. <laughs> it made me laugh. It's a vibe check, dude. It's a vibe check. That's another thing I want to do, honestly. Send top pics to Discord channel. I want to do that. I mean, I don't, I just think it would be dope because I, so far, to be 100% honest, this sniper bot is dope, but I really think it needs a vibe check. So that vibe check can be done maybe by AI. That's what we're testing right now. But it may need to be done by hand. I don't know. I don't know. My wallet that I did the personal vibe check on, it might be doing better than the no vibe check. That's what I'm saying. And that's why I'm here to show you actually what's going on. So let's go ahead. We got the names now. Now we need to jump down to 749. And this says DF.AI vibe check. So that's N dot. So, okay, cool. So we're passing the DF now. And this DF now should have the names on it. It's final sorted. You see it there? Cause I don't, I didn't do it. That's why. Save DF to, I'm gonna call it vibe checked. No, I think I'm gonna call it final sorted still or ready to buy because then it won't break my other program. Cause this isn't doing anything, right? It's just essentially just putting the names on the columns. Should have worked. There it is. Okay, we got the names on there. 14 hours later, we get the names on there. So go ahead and smash that like button. If we haven't smashed the like button, I don't know what's going on. I don't know where we are anymore if we haven't even got to our 30 likes yet. There are so many people up in here that have not tapped the like button. I don't know what you're doing with your time if you're watching something you don't like. Trying to give you all the sauce, dude. Every single piece of it, every single day, no matter what, I don't care. I know I shouldn't be showing this stuff. I get it. I understand that, but I'm going to show it all because I believe something much greater than what I can get can come from you. I believe code is a great equalizer. If I help one person change their life and learn how to code, I win. I won my game. I'm going to continue to win in algo trading. I'm going to continue to chase this man. But for me, the bigger win is helping change someone's current rough position. If you were just an internet guy like myself just a few years ago, thinking I could not code because it's only for the elite, this is your chance, B. I'm showing everything. And when I tried to learn to code building websites or apps and stuff, I was bored to tears until I put the cash, I put the cash behind it. And I had a real goal of automating my trading. That's when I learned fast. That's why I share all of this, dude. I really believe code's a great equalizer. And I know I'm blessed AF with the privilege to be able to have a computer that can stream. So why would I not use that computer to stream? Because that can help people. Above is the code that uses an open AI assistance, uses it as a reference to do the following and then output all of the code. We have a DF that looks like the below. It has a bunch of Solana tokens for the column name. Please have it sent to the open AI assistant who will do a vibe check, which is explained below. The vibe check assistant will run the name through with this prompt. 
based on you know about what is culturally relevant or funny or you think has a chance to be a viral meme on a scale one to ten what do you think this token name and then i pass in the name what do you give this token name essentially i'm gonna put a question mark there. essentially give it a score one to ten ten being the best meme ever for the current period of time in the world and one being the worst meme ever reply with the name and the score this is sick dude this is sick i feel like that's it and i'm gonna pass in this df so she can see what she's looking at that's the df okay um i'll put full close let's see what she do because we just had to do that we had to get the name on there i know that's silly it took a minute but whatever i got time to get out of here our systems have detected unusual active kit though GBT, this is why we fade you, bro. This is why we fade you. Cause you're, you're, you're really out here. You really out here trying to tell me that you see activity. Yeah, maybe I'm sharing your platform with like 22 people, 22 killers, not just people. I'm sharing the platform with 22 of the people that can change the world because the only people that can change the world, I'm sorry. The only people that can change the world are the people who know how to code because the code is the world is based off of code right now. I'm sorry. You can change the world in other ways. Sure. But this is the most direct way. If you don't have like privilege, you don't have like some fancy degree or you don't have a ton of money or a family that came from wealth like this. The, the way you can pull yourself from the bottom, learn how to code and then you can build anything. Now it's on you because if you know how to code, then it's on you to think of a good idea, you know? All right, dude. Da Vinci 3, get out of here with that. We're using no Da Vinci 3. I gave you all that code and this is what you gave me back. Shorty's tripping, Shorty's tripping, but that, that's okay. Let's just go ahead and go with what she's doing. I don't like it that much. I've checked PD. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna put her, uh, I'm just gonna put this here. Spawns completion. So. I guess if I think about this, we don't even need to entirely use the assistance API, right? We're just calling it one time. And that's, did my stuff just delete? Where to go? Hello. So we're just gonna use AI, uh, just a response, because I guess, because the prompt is, I guess we just use, yeah, yeah. We don't even really need to use a full AI setup, or like a swarm setup here. So my bad on the title, but it'd be like that sometimes. This is more of a swarm because it's taking one AI, passing it to the other AI, right? They're both doing different tasks. This one here is is coming up with strategies. So one AI is reading the YouTube video and sending it to the second AI who codes the back test. So that's really a swarm. Now in this case, I guess we don't even really need the swarm because we're just passing in the, uh, we don't need like a code interpreter. We're literally just passing in the, uh, prompt and yeah. So this is super chill actually. GPT four preview though. I want to use GPT four for sure. So here we're going to go ahead and paste that there. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab the response here of the vibe check for name in DF to below and then append to the df before outputting use this model let's see if they've upgraded their models here open ai models i think they've changed some of the names and done some upgrades nice oh nice this is the one we got to use dude turbo though i like turbo new gpt4 model intended to reduce cases of laziness doesn't complete a task returns. So this is a big old context window, nice. So we got some updates here on OpenAI. I was sleeping the last few weeks, essentially building this sniper bot. So, you know, things change so fast, but we here, we here a couple weeks late, a couple weeks late, it's okay. We'll be all right. Cause I don't think anybody building like we building. I think everybody else is sleeping. They do their two hours at the coffee shop and call it a day. So I want to say this, please update the function below so it goes through the name column in the df do below and then append 
So we are going to do the same prompt as you wrote above, but use the above model instead. Also inside of the function below, below please have it loop through the name column to do the above uh, open AI call. And then at the end of the function, save the DF as vibe checked dot CSV and at the data source data. Here is the code to update. Please keep everything inside one function. I'm going to remove all those notes because it will trip out. Maybe, baby. Let's see if she changes. She always wants to use the text DaVinci003, but who uses that? Kobus, what's up, bro? Good morning. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Hector, good to see you. Buenos dias. Como esta? Okay, FS Trans. Oh, let's go ahead. Let's go downwards instead of upwards. A live biz car says you do you do work hard at what you do. Thanks for sharing what you do and being down to earth. Would rather watch you than buy a bot any day. That's awesome, man. I'm glad. Keith says you should give a lot more info with that question, i.e., can you code? If so, what languages do you want to just buy a bot? Do you want to have a bot coded for you? Not cheap. Yeah, it's not cheap to get a bot coded for you. That's true. If you want to do it on the cheap, yeah, Keith is giving some good advice here. Like, okay, so there's three ways to do this. Number one, you can come to my YouTube channel and just like dissect everything I've, I've done here for the last two years. That might take some time. That's fine. If you got time, that's the cheapest way to do it. Uh, how do you even upgrade my stuff? Because I'm not like, a, I'm not a godsend. I just know what I know and I've missed a lot of theory because I did not go to school for this. I went straight for the straight for the jugular here with the algos ready. So how can you even get better than just my YouTube channel? Well, Keith says there's a ton of books. Um, so I have like a bunch of books in here uh, about coding and I learned a lot from the books, but then I put it in my YouTube channel. You know, I, I show you what I'm doing. Essentially. You can go read books without coding and they're like 20 bucks, you know? Learn Python the hard way. It's one book to learn Python. But there's plenty of ways to learn how to code. YouTube videos are free. Um, and not just mine. There's much better Python coding videos out there. But that's the cheap way to do it. Just put all these YouTube ch videos together, learn how to code, and then you'll have a skill for the rest of your life. The a little bit more expensive way, because it's $69, is get inside of the boot camp. Because then you're going to be around people that are coding trading algorithms and we're all going towards the same mission. So it's 69 bucks and you get to be around algo traders, quants, data scientists, all running towards the same mission. You get all of my code. I grab your hand over the next two weeks and I pull you up to speed with me with short, concise videos. So that's a little bit more expensive. That's 69 bucks. It's probably the cost of two books. I hope I give you way more value than two books though. And then the third way is like, oh, bro, I don't have time for this. I don't want to code any of this myself. I don't want to learn how to code. Then hire somebody to code for you. Hire somebody to build the bot for you. Uh, I'm not probably the guy for you there. Uh, I only could take two people on per month. And I really only, I give priority to anybody that's in the boot camp. So uh, you can book a call after you join the boot camp. But other than that, if you're not interested, if you want me to build a bot for you, but you don't want to pay the $69 per month, then um, I don't think you're my clientele, bro. I can only take two people on per month. So I always laugh when people will say, I want to have a call with you to book a, to uh, build a bot for me. Uh, but I don't want to join the boot camp because I don't want to spend them $69 per month. Just to tell you, bro, it's going to be way, 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 way more expensive to build a bot for you. And that, that's overall. Keith said it. I said it. It's expensive to build, have somebody else build a bot for you. But if you got the if you got the money, that's one thing. You can also check out Upwork. Upwork has, you know, if you want to go hire somebody from India to build a bot for you, that's fine as well. Bless your soul and good luck. <laughs> See, uh, and then compare your lost opportunity cost and the time spent learning for yourself to code, to get access to the bootcamp. Yeah, it is a little bit of opportunity cost for sure because 
I, you know, I ate the opportunity cost for you, essentially. Like I spent the three and a half years to learn everything. And then I, I everything I know inside the bootcamp. I, I feel like I'm on this page too much and I want to get back to it. Join the bootcamp if you want to learn this stuff real fast. Go read some books if you want to learn this stuff really slow. Um, watch my YouTube channel if you want to just be a homie. And jump in the Discord if you just are interested, you know? Uh, Josh Jansen said, love the vibe checks. I love them too, dude. Steve O, good morning. Better late than never. I agree. I tend to agree with that, Steve O. Welcome to the crew. I'm glad you're here. We are doing the vibe check here on the uh, good old Solana Sniper, but this vibe check is actually pretty sick, if you ask me. If you ask me, because essentially what it's doing is just checking the name to see if it's a vibe. It's essentially what I would do by hand to see if it's actually like, mm, is it culturally relevant? I feel like that's the better way to say it. Based on what you know about what is culturally re relevant or funny, or you think has some chance to be a viral meme, on a scale of one to 10, what do you give this token name? Question mark. And the name we passed in right here. So vibe score df name dot apply applying the vibe check okay and then we output the vibe check um i want to print print has the score boom okay uh make sure to wait for the response long enough we may have to loop a bit in order to wait for that response from the AI as it takes some time to generate sometimes. Below, you can see how we waited for the AI in the code below. So do something similar. So we wait till the response is there before moving to the next one. Let's go ahead and find that open AI code we have. What is this? Oh, it's making strategies and back tests. Cool. I'll let that ride. Now, where did we do that? Here, let's look at what this says. Strategy created. So this is re watching videos and coming up with strategies. It's really reading re videos. That's why I keep saying that. For idea and ideas list. Oh, it went through all of them. Cool. So then, then back test. So here we go. I'll put the full code, preferably in one function. Hey, Arunas, how are you, dude? Good to see you. Haven't seen you in a minute. Hope you've been well. Flashbot says, if I buy the course, will I get trading bot as well with it? Yeah, dude, it's all about trading bots. So uh, not a trading bot that you can just run and run immediately. You have to build in your own strategy, but I show you how to do all that here. I actually give you seven bots, seven bots so you can learn from them not a get rich quick don't join if you feel like you're gonna make a ton of money tomorrow but you will learn how to code and automate any trading strategies so the money is made with the strategy right so if if your strategy sucks by hand it's probably gonna suck by the bot if your strategy would not suck by hand if your emotions didn't get in the way then the bot can do better but you gotta what i show in the back uh boot camp is seven algos that you can learn from but more importantly i show you how to back test to see if strategies are profitable because the whole system here is this this is how you automate your trading you research trading strategies that can be from your mind your past experience google scholar youtube and you back to see if they work in the past if they work in the past then you build a bot waiting for a response perfect so it changed it it made it so it, it's um what is this df vibes ai vibe check Apply vibe check. Interesting. I've never seen that. Applying the vibe check for each. This is so dope. I love when it does stuff like that. Wait, wait, vibe check. Vibe check is there. Apply vibe check. So apply vibe check does that. That's crazy. So I guess this runs this function even without the little curly things. I don't know about that. I guess we shall see, dude. Go ahead and smash that like button. Let's run this up today, dude. I don't know where we're at. What are we at? Are we at 30 likes yet? We have even 30 likes, that's crazy, dude. That's, that's your fault, not mine. I'm not coming back, I'm never coming back. I'm just kidding. I'm kinda kidding, I'm kinda kidding, but I'm kinda serious, dude. 
I'm out here trying to show everything to you. And all I ask is that you do tap that like button. It's literally the only thing. I know I have to beg for it, but you should see the difference. You should see the difference. You should see the difference. So please do take that half a second. If you feel like I've given any value today, please do go ahead and tap that like button. It helps me oh so much. It really encourages me. I know like 99.9% .9 of the people that watch these videos, I would be best friends with you. We'd be really good friends at least. Maybe not best friends. I don't want to take the best friend, the best friend role or anything. But that being said, like, and like, I know most people here are introverted because I'm introverted. I know it's hard to believe probably, but I'm extremely introverted. I get all my energy of time being alone, not talking. So this is actually really, really hard for me. And um, you know how it goes when you put yourself out there online. Uh, you only get negative stuff. All the comments, not all the comments, of course, but like a lot of comments are super, super negative. And it's like, it's just, it's just because the the people that are negative are the ones who like are keep it keyboard warriors. And they're the ones who type and comment on my stuff. But like after a while, it's just like, dang, I'm not even getting anything out of this, bro. Uh, I'm literally showing every single step of the way. And just to get a bunch of hate all the time, that sucks. I literally thought I was helping people. So um, I know you don't have to stand up and say anything. All I ask for is the like, because the like will like, if, if I get enough likes, it's telling me that like this stuff is actually helping people. It's just, I, you know, I'm going to hear from the negative people and I can just block them. That's fine. I just block them and try to move on. But you can imagine, I post a video every single day. So I get a lot of hate as well. Oh, this guy can't code because he uses, uses AI all the time. Or this guy doesn't know what he's doing. You know, that's from people. Maybe they're better at this stuff than I am. And that's fine. I'm okay with not being the best. I'm okay with not being the best right now. And all I'm trying to say is those trolls, they start to get to you. And like, I want to check the comments so I can respond to the, the people that need help and questions and stuff. But then I see all the negative stuff. And the only thing that like keeps me going is if I have a bunch of likes, it shows that, you know, I understand who I'm talking to. I'm talking to, to people like myself that are introverted that aren't going to be posting comments. Like some people do. I, I appreciate all you guys, but so I understand that, but the only signal I can get from all that noise and all that negativity is a like, and that's all I need because that tells me, okay, Moondev, yes, there's some negativity, but there's a bunch of likes here. Keep going, keep showing this, this is helping people. And I, I'm okay with taking the trolls because I'm okay with not being the best. I know I'm not the best. This guy's the best. And it's like, he has the number to prove it. So I'm okay with not being the best right now because I know for a fact I know for a fact, if I keep swimming, I'm going to become better and better. And someday I might be the best. And if you want to roll with me, all I do is ask you tap the like button because that tells me that this stuff is actually helping you. And if it's not helping you, then obviously don't tap the like button because then I won't do it anymore. <laughs> I won't show it anymore. I'm going to keep doing it. But let's go ahead and run this. Thing. DF is not defined. Line 637 updated df i need to get the regular df so here in the vibe check let's get the regular df from df equals pd dot read csv and we're actually going to take the ready to the vibe copy relative path what are you talking about dude? we just have this so gucci let's go ahead what happened here because i think we just had it let me go ahead and check out open ai's no well, let's say open AI uh, text completion API text generator client.chat. So we got open AI is client.chat completion. I don't know if this is the one chat completion. Chat completions takes a list of messages as input without any conversation. Perfect. That's what we want. That's what we want. But we need to change this to here. Let's give this. Please. So it's using the open AI docs below. Let's just double check if that's the right one. Chat completions. I think that's the right one, but I want to use the model. This model. It's been a while. I'm a little rusty when it comes to open AI, but it's okay. We'll get back in the flow of things pretty quickly. All right, let's go ahead and answer some of these questions. Um, smash the like button. Let's get up to 40 likes. That'd be dope.
what does this trade on it trades on jupiter hg says ignore the haters i had a telegram channel with 500 followers and lost or lots of negativity and leeching i get trolls in real life and i'm in the startup space even starting a petition against quote corruption hey man so i can imagine you you get a lot of haters as well so i appreciate you how about liking token metrics with sniping bots or linking linking token that's a good idea i'm gonna write that down link token metrics with sniper that's a good idea thank you bro uh, let's see mr Douglas says if you if you don't if you don't got haters get some haters <laughs> i appreciate you dog it's just people showing their jealousy you've inspired me thank you man thank you for letting me know that um this is actually helpful thank you thank you so so much bro it's really helpful to know see if this changed anything i don't think it changed anything there now this this should be gucci now check out a vibe check vibe check oh yeah my bad i didn't give the right key so we got to give the right key but what did i name that key oh my god let's see here let me go ahead and just look at what i named that key real quick named open ai key duh okay all right let's get this b we're right there we're right there so now we have the nice funks here with the right open ai key hopefully so in line 600 do that choices let's uh oh snap remember remember that we need to loop and wait for the response from the ai so it didn't have any information because there was no response we gotta wait for the response bro btc at 65 wow fellas we're right there oh my goodness it's doing it this way huh okay it's just putting a time dot sleep here i would do it a different way but it's okay i'm gonna put 15 seconds just to ensure well let's do it like five seconds i think it might take longer than five seconds but let's say print response dot data i could use asyncio for sure appreciate that a live business card good to see you doc have a great day that's it please update the below code so that it works properly because now the response is working and you can see it says the uh newsy johnson the name and then i believe it says the vibe check right here four i think because we asked it to name it that way the name and score all right let's see what's going on here I could use a Synchio, but this is the lazy way and the AI did it. So AI, if it's cool with the AI, it's cool with me, you know, in the response, you've shown the message content is directly accessible by choices list. You are a helpful AI assistant that understands current trends and what's hot in culture in American culture. Sorry. Sorry, everybody else. Sorry, everybody in the other parts of the world, but um, I did it. I did say that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Is that a wrong thing to do? I don't know. But I did say in American culture. I love everybody. I promise I do, dude. But this bot is for America. Choices has no, maybe it's not done yet on that one. So, I think we're gonna run into this problem. Oh, no, it's right there. I'm getting lazy. So it has no attribute of content. Oh, that's my bad. But no, maybe it's not, I don't know. So we got the chat GPT-4 preview still. That looks good. Response.choices, content equals response.choices. So it changed it up a little bit. Let's see if this changes it. Uh, otherwise, I'm just gonna raw dog it because I think I can do this too, dude. If you can do it, I can do it. Paste it in. See if that works this time. Sometimes, 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 sometimes. Some there it is. Score is all right. Well, it's no res no score not found in. So I'm gonna show this error because I see the scores. I can see that the scores are being returned, but in the below you can see the error let's make this easier 
instead of the AI returning more than the score, let's have it just return a number. So we don't have to try to parse through with RE. We're using RE right now. I forgot what this means, but it's essentially to search through characters. You can see RE search here. So I'm asking it to just return a number now because then it will just make this much easier before I was asking for the name and the number, but I can put the name on there pretty easy. Please reply with a numeric score. So let's just flip out this vibe check here. We got an eight, five seconds of sleep there. Say print, print. All right, there we go. Come bang, screw B. 65, my God. Ooh, we went even higher. C score for probably nothing, six. Newsy Johnson, five. Biden with hat, five. This is the vibe check, dude. The vibe is on now. Dumb money, seven. Do I agree with these? I don't know, but we just finished exactly what I promised you. We built an open AI swarm of one, <laughs> one swarm that